first watch of the week in 2024 and we start with something interesting from France. The Yima Urban Flygraph. This model you see here is part of a trilogy called Urban Sports. There you find one watch for the sea, one for the street, one for the air. And I picked the Flygraph here because I feel that it's the most convincing design of these three pieces. More of that in a second. The model names are not new by the way, but these variants that bring us back into 80s design and watchmaking. So let's start with the specifications. We have an automatic watch with a case diameter of 39mm, a length a lug to lug of 47 and a height of 11.7mm, lug width is 20. The flygraph is equipped with a sapphire crystal entirely flat and the in-house caliber Yima 2000 with a power reserve of 42 hours. Then we have a bi-directional bezel with aluminium insert a regular crown and a water tightness of 100 meters. You can buy the watch either on steel or on leather and the price for the watch with the bracelet is indicated with 890 euros or 1095 US dollars. So at first glance we see a tool watch with yellow elements. Why do I prefer now this model over the other two watches, over the yachting graph and the rally graph? Because I find it to be the most equilibrated watch here when it comes to the scales, indices, hands. This watch is positioned nicely between busy and calm. Plus, it's rare to see the color yellow on a watch in an organic way. Here that inner bezel in yellow doesn't look like a gimmick. It delivers functionality by adding contrast and at the same time a bit of warmth. Indices and hands are fairly simple and lean heavily towards the design of an aviation instrument. We have a black dial brushed for a minimum of reflection and a maximum of legibility. We see a lot of different scales on the dial. In-depth review of all of them would blow up the video. But you can feel relieved with this watch. It is possible to calculate speed, fuel consumption, miles and kilometers. So in fact a very busy watch but again executed without any form of design chaos. A lucky decision is that they didn't put the word urban on the dial of all three models because at the end it doesn't make so much sense, right? Now the case, pure 80s with quite some metal on it. The form reminds us of a cushion case but without so much tapering. It's more that brutalistic metal plate with a large hole in the middle to house the movement. It's very easy to find such a case too brutalistic though, just raw and unpleasant, but here it works in my eyes. Reasons are the high polished sides and that high polished facet that add a bit of luxury. Worth mentioning is also the rather big but handsome looking crown with the Yima logo that you find also in an impressive form on the case back. I love that case back. See-through case backs are also great but this metal plate just delivers strength together with the logo. Really really well done. Last point, bracelet or straps? Bracelet I would say. Look at the transition from case to bracelet. That's an organic entity. It would be a pity to miss that. And now let's close here with a little disclaimer. Every time I do a video about Yima people complain in the comments about poor customer service. Then other people say these comments are fake probably by haters or other watchmakers. And I think the truth is in the middle. Without fire there's no smoke. So I do believe some of these complaints. But as a full disclosure, although I've handled a lot of their watches, I've never bought one. I reached out to Yima several times though for information without mentioning my name or the channel's name. And they always responded very quickly and friendly and competent. So I personally have the impression that there is now a company at work with a normal functional level of service. So I could imagine that some negative reports are rather outdated. So availability. As far as I know the watch is not limited but they work with small batches like this first one which consists of only 100 pieces. So you might see it sold out from time to time. And with that information allow me to close this episode. Thank you very much and see you next Monday to watch of the week.